Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and this is my liquor store, Mini Mart, and apartment building. I bought this earlier this year and um, made a lot of improvements on it. And today we're going to take a look at the apartment upstairs, the big one that we've been remodeling and see the progress there. Um, the store is doing well. We've kind of cleared out a lot of the stuff that was in front here, a table and some chairs and different things, tried to declutter that and constantly improving things. Um, we actually found some weed plants growing in there, so that's not exactly a good thing for a store, public store. Um, we do not sell marijuana, so that's not good, but um, the rest is going pretty well. Um, love the likes, love the comments, love the shares, keep those coming, love seeing new subscribers, and there you can see the stuff on the side that um, we're moving to a new place and um, we'll show you what the apartment looks like upstairs so this apartment was rented to someone who used to work at the store they quit when i bought it then they worked across the street were good tenants for a long time and then they just stopped paying rent um, kept promising to pay never could we ended up um they they left luckily we didn't have to do an eviction but they didn't leave it in amazing shape so we came through we're doing a quick remodel so in here you might remember this opened up into another room so it kind of had like two living rooms there's an archway there we totally closed that in as you can see we're laying laminate here this is kind of the official dining room kitchen area so that'll be laminate the hallway will be laminate and we'll show you the rest of it here um the kitchen we're pretty much leaving the same nothing fancy i know it's not an amazing kitchen but this is just an apartment, nothing too fancy. And then one thing we noticed, or Nikki actually noticed, there's no washer or dryer in this unit. So we thought, could we put one right there, kind of in a way of the window? There's really not a good place in the kitchen for one unless we take out cabinets and countertop. Then we had another idea. Um, we've got this big hallway, there's furnace in there, but over here in the hallway, kind of the common area, so there's the fridge is right there. <laughs> we have some space here. So there's French doors, there's a little bit of space right there. Could we put a washer and dryer out here in this hallway somewhere? Because another apartment does not have hookups either. One does, two don't. So we're thinking, what could we do? Um, there's a possibility of maybe putting a laundromat downstairs, but we need more room, more water, um, lots of issues there with trying to do that. So you can see there's not a whole lot of room. That's where the fridge goes. I mean, we could take the fridge, I mean, the, that counter out and put it there, but we'll, we'll think on that. So here's the rest of the apartment. Um, this was what used to be kind of the second living room that will now be its own bedroom. So we filled in the wall right there. You can see we built a closet right there. Still a really big room. I mean, this is probably 16 by 18 or something. Uh, this entire apartment upstairs has... 1800 square feet i think maybe even it's more than that it is huge now a lot of it's kind of wasted with the hallway and different things but still it'll work now that room over there on the right did not have a door but there was a door to the living room so luckily we can use that for the bedroom door we are saving those doors saving the wood trim that we can and then there's hardwood under here it looks better than that that we're going to save just in one room and we're going to have the laminate in the kitchen dining room hallway and just carpet in these other rooms. There is hardwood here, but it's in really bad shape. It'll be really expensive to refinish it. So we decided just to leave that as carpet. And if at some point in the future, someone wants to come along and refinish it, they can. Um, it does have nice big closets too, and lots of storage above there. Uh, the bathroom over here on the right has a tub, vanities, okay, but I think we can paint everything and make it look good. Of course, we'll do a mirror and get that fixed up and then yeah that was the hole either a bullet or pellet someone thought it was a pellet like a high powered pellet rifle that shot it too i'm not sure i'm not an expert on those things we did find chunks of lead in the wall and after thinking about it and um looking at it i'm like wow maybe this was just a pellet so who knows all right <laughs> so coming back this way we follow the hallway to what is another bathroom and I talked about it before too. Um, we think this used to be kind of like a, a boarding house in the past with a big hallway and just lots of rooms and lots of units upstairs, who knows how many, but it's been split into three, as I said before. And then we have another bedroom here. And this is a real bedroom because it has a window and a closet. And that's one reason why we made that other bedroom um, that was a dining room into a bedroom because we have a third, there's a hole in the wall, um, room here that has no window, so it can't officially be a bedroom. So for it to be a three bedroom apartment, we had to make another room a bedroom. And right back there was where the mirror was, where the pellet or bullet shot through the wall. And then here we have the final room here, like I said, with no window, but it was used as a bedroom before. So now it's kind of a three bedroom plus an 
office. So hopefully we'll get this done soon. This is taking so long. It'll probably rent for 1500 to 1600 I'm thinking. Um, the other apartments are rented for like 700 and 550 which is way below market. One we are raising the rent and renewing the lease on. An uh, another we're kind of leaving the same. And then this new one will be raising the rent. And here you can kind of see what the floor plan looks like. The big purple one is the one we we're just in. The red one is the real small one that's rent for 700 and the green one is a big one that was 550. So um, bit, lots of space up here and lots of room to add income. But at the same time, we don't want to just kick the people out who are in there and uh, we want to work with them and try and make that a good situation for everyone. And here's an old video of what the real small kind of studio slash one bedroom looked like when I first bought it. And they did get some of this stuff out, I feel like, but left us quite a bit as well. Oh yeah, it was snowing back then. <laughs> All right. Um, love the likes, love the comments, love the shares. Um, we'll try and keep you posted on the store and what's going on there. We'll have an update video on that. We like to show kind of the revenue for daily and um, monthly on Instagram and here on our shorts sometimes. So be sure to watch out for that.